Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Hello and welcome to a very exciting College Investor Audio Show today, 100 plus real and honest ways to make money in college. I've said this so many times I can't even count it. There are literally hundreds of ways to make money, especially in college. What limits people of doing these things is all internal. It's not external. I hear excuses like, I don't have enough time, or I don't know where to start. Well, we are going to eliminate all excuses today. Because here's my list of over 100 ways to make money in college. I brain dumped every idea I could possibly think of to make money into this list. (laughs) Some of them you've heard plenty of times before, and others may be new to you. So to help organize the list, here are the categories we've assigned to the different tasks. We tried to list it most lucrative to least lucrative, but all of these items have their pros and cons. Let's first start with the category of entrepreneurship. Here we go. We're diving right in. I'm serious when I say 100 plus. All right, anyway. So being your own entrepreneur is extremely rewarding. Really is. But it can be extremely lucrative, too, for college students and recent graduates. These next money-making ideas are bucketed in this category because your earnings are only limited by your own internal drive. Number one, start a blog or website. If you really want to make money online, you need to start a blog or a website. This is your home base for everything that you do online, and it by itself can turn into a huge profitable venture. The collegeinvestor.com, by the way, has turned into a six-figure business that I started in college. It's really easy to get started, too. A simple domain and web hosting, and it's cheap, usually $2.95 a month at Bluehost. We started this blog on Bluehost because cheap, easy, and simple to get started. Again, it's called Bluehost. Number two, become a notary public and loan signing agent. Ha ha! This is one of my favorite, most unheard of ways to make money, especially for college students. Being a loan signing agent is a great way to earn money in college because you can make 75 to 200 bucks an hour working for yourself on your own schedule. Students can be signing agents and earn extra cash whenever they want. The best part is you need nothing more than a notary commission, which can often be attained by simply filling out an application. What? You can automatically get loan signing jobs by simply putting your name in a database, and they'll call you when there's a preset appointment in your area. Once you get a loan signing job, you just need to know how to walk a homeowner through a set of loan paperwork. Can you say, sign here, date here? If you can, then you can make 75 to 200 bucks an hour per hour long appointment working for yourself on your own schedule. Be sure to get the proper training. One of the top rated courses we found that was really impacting how people make money is Loan Signing System. It's like an A to Z course, it teaches you how to get your notary commission, how to do a loan signing, and how to get loan signing jobs. There's a complete rundown of why it's a great side hustle for part-time work at thecollegeinvestor.com. You can seriously be earning 500 bucks a month or more within six months. Top earners are making $13,000 a month. Whoa! Number three, freelance write for blogs and businesses. Okay, so freelance writing... One of the easiest ways to start making money, especially if you're a fast writer. There are a lot of ways to get started with freelance writing for blogs, and we've put together a full list too. Beyond writing for blogs, many businesses are looking for writers to help with many different types of writing, from general how-to content, to technical writing, to putting together brochures, to writing for YouTube videos. To write for other businesses, there are sites like Upwork, tons and tons of openings right now. You can search for listings, find the ones you like, and then just simply fill out a proposal. Number four, become a virtual assistant. Another great way to earn money online is to become a virtual assistant. A lot of people in businesses are looking to outsource assistant type work, such as responding to emails, handling basic writing and organization, research tasks, and a lot more. 
If you're looking to do this type of work online, consider becoming a virtual assistant and you could earn several hundred dollars or more per month. Number five, sell gigs on Fiverr. Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, two R's, is a site that allows you to see your gigs for five bucks and you'll net four bucks. It might not seem like a way to earn a lot of money, but you can. In fact, we highlight how you can use Fiverr to pay off your student loan debt, if you're smart about it. Number six, do micro gigs on Amazon Mechanical Turk. Here's a popular site to earn money doing gigs. Amazon's Mechanical Turk. You get paid a very small amount per gig, sometimes as low as a nickel, (laughs) but you can do these tasks very quickly. For example, you could be asked to identify a picture or type certain text. That's it. So when I was in school, I used to do these gigs in class and earn money while taking notes. Number seven, do online design work. If you're an artist and have a knack for graphic design, you could do online design work for websites and businesses. This could be everything from making small graphics for advertisements to full site redesigns. To get started, check out a site like 99designs where you can enter design competitions and if you're selected as the winner, you get paid. Cha-ching! Number eight, become a YouTube video blogger. If you've got a gift for video, becoming a YouTube blogger is a great way to earn some extra cash. You get paid based on the ads displayed on your videos. So the more people that watch your videos, the more you get paid. It's estimated that video bloggers on YouTube get roughly $7.60 per each 1,000 views of their videos. You can see how that could add up pretty quickly. Number nine, design and sell t-shirts. Here's another great way to get paid for your art. Design t-shirts and then sell them. You know, the great thing about this is that t-shirts are more than just pictures. Funny sayings and phrases work well too. Two of the most popular sites to sell t-shirts on are Zazzle and Cafe Press. Number 10, do transcription work. If you're a fast typer and you want to get paid for listening and typing, transcription work is great. Many different industries are looking for people to transcribe audio into text. For example, podcasters like to have their episodes transcribed into text to post online. You can learn how to do that and find great work. We got a link at thecollegeinvestor.com and a heads up, I'm going to mention that website an awful lot today. (laughs) Number 11, create an app. If you have some programming talents, you can create an iPhone or Android app and sell it in the App Store or Google Play. Many people have found success with creating both games and regular apps. The trick is to find an unmet need and harness it. Number 12, become a calligrapher. Do you know how to do calligraphy? First of all, you're cool. Secondly, you could sell your handwriting on sites like Etsy for a great price. Many people are searching for individuals to write in calligraphy, especially for invitations and stationery for special occasions. Number 13, launch an online course. If you're a good teacher and you have some area of expertise that you teach or maybe help others in already, you could create an online course around that topic and sell it. Udemy is a site that allows people to create an online course and then sell it through their platform. There are courses for everything. So don't worry if you think that your topic is too obscure or weird. There's an audience for it. Number 14, Become a translator. If you speak another language, you could be a translator. You know, there's translation work that is needed across a variety of platforms, from people speaking to written translation work. Sites like LiveTranslation.com allow anyone to sign up and become a translator. Very cool. Number 15, become a virtual call center. Call centers are vital to a lot of businesses. What if you could become a call center operator at home? You can. And sites like LiveOps allow anyone to join and become an on-demand call center agent. There are some steps you have to take, but can be a great side income stream if you get started. Number 16, become a voiceover artist. Doing voiceover work is becoming incredibly popular, especially with the rise of video and podcasting. If you have a great voice and a simple microphone set up at home, I would advise going into a quiet place, a quiet room, like a closet with a bunch of clothes in it. You could get paid to do voiceover work for people and businesses. 
I know a guy who does a quarter million bucks. He's going to do it this year just doing voiceovers. It's amazing. Number 17, ship stuff for others. Did you ever see the short-lived TV show Shipping Wars? <laughs> this was a show about people offering to ship stuff around the country for others. Well, it's real, and sites like UShip connect people that need to ship stuff with drivers and carriers with trucks that can do the work. If you have a truck, this could be a great way to make money. Number 18. Become an SEO guru for others. SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, is a great freelancing gig for those that are analytical. If you're a little savvy and analytical, you can make 75 bucks an hour or more doing this. Rent your stuff. Okay, now let's get into a different category. Renting your stuff is a great way to make some extra money, especially when you're in college. Don't think you have much to rent? You might be surprised. Number 19. Rent a room in your house. So one of the best ways to get started investing in real estate is to buy a house in college and rent out the other rooms to roommates. One of my best friends did this. He bought this four-bedroom house his freshman year and rented out three of the rooms. The rent from the roommates covered the rent and all the expenses, and he was able to pocket a small profit each month. By the time he graduated college, he had two rentals and a house for himself. You can get started doing this on Airbnb, and if you have a great place to list, do it right there. And it's, it's free. Number 20, rent your car. If you have a car that you're not using all that much because you're spending all your time on campus studying, maybe it's time you put it to use by renting it. Turo is a service that allows you to rent your car to others and get paid for it. They make it easy, and for college students, it can be an easy win-win. Number 21, rent your stuff. You might have some stuff in your garage you don't use anymore, maybe a bike or camping gear. Maybe it's something that you do use, but just not very often. If you want to put your stuff to work for you, consider using a service like Renty Thing. <laughs> Renty, R-E-N-T-Y Thing, Renty Thing, which allows you to rent almost anything you own. You just create your own rental shop and list items to rent. People contact you and pay you online through the platform. A simple and easy way to boost your income. A similar site is Zilock, Z-I-L-O-K. Number 22, rent your garage or even your driveway. If you own a home and have some extra space you're not using in your garage, and maybe a side driveway, you can rent that space to people that need to store their boat or RV. The website Neighbor allows you to rent out your driveway or garage to others and collect payment online. It's very easy to use and a fantastic way to make some extra scratch on a space you don't use. Number 23, rent your clothes. Ha! Huh. If you have a lot of clothes you don't wear often, maybe a bridesmaid's dress or some fancy jeans, you can rent that to others who may be looking for a great look at a good price. Sites like Rent Not Buy allow users to rent their clothes and fashion products to others online. It's quick to create a listing and easy to get paid. Two very amazing things. Number 24, rent your space on Airbnb. Now, we kind of touched on this a little bit, but if you travel a lot or... If you're going to be gone for a set period of time, you know, like the summer, you can use that time to rent out your house or apartment and make some extra money while you do it. Airbnb is becoming more mainstream for both landlords and vacationers. If you want to rent your place, earn some extra cash, you can check out Airbnb. Yeah, we're about a quarter of the way through our amazingly impressive list, I might say. Um, we're going to be plowing through these things quick, so if you ever miss anything, Please pause the podcast and check out thecollegeinvestor.com to find out more about something that interests you. Okay, so the next topics we're going to be looking at are do tasks. So the following aren't really quite jobs, and they aren't quite online business opportunities. They kind of fall right in the middle. So I'm calling them tasks that you can do to earn money. Most of these are geared towards millennials and college students looking to make some money doing mm, odd jobs. Number 25. Search with swag bucks. If you're already searching the internet, you probably are. Um, I'm pretty much 100% sure that you do search the internet. But anyway, why not switch your default search engine to swag bucks? Swag bucks lets you, lets you earn points called SB, which you can then redeem for cash or gift cards. 
There are lots of ways to earn SB, and it can be a great source of extra income each month. Plus, get a $5 bonus for signing up with the link that we have at thecollegeinvestor.com. Number 26, fill out online surveys. So another task that you can do online is online surveys. It's, they typically will reward you with small gifts just for filling them out. There are several online survey sites. We have a list right here. I'm just going to give you the top three that we like. Survey Junkie, where you can earn cash and rewards for sharing your thoughts and opinions. Swagbucks Surveys. They now have a dedicated survey section because we just talked about them for searches. And you can get $5 just for signing up. Pinecone 18-24. So if you're 18 to 24, that's where they get their name, you can earn $3 per survey with Pinecone. Number 27, participate in market research. Market research is a fun way to get paid. You'll see market research studies advertised all over most college campuses. And the point of these studies is simple. Companies want the opinions of college students. In return for sitting in a room doing market research for an hour, most studies will reward you with cash or gift cards. Number 28, do user testing online. When companies create new websites and initiatives online, they need people to test it out before it goes live. Sites like usertesting.com allow companies to post testing jobs, and anyone can sign up to participate in the test. You're paid for the testing that you do. Number 29, be a task rabbit. TaskRabbit is a site where people post jobs online and you can apply to do the tasks. These are full-time jobs or even really freelance work. These are tasks. For example, you might be asked to go grocery shopping or to pick up lunch at a restaurant and bring it to someone's office or house. <laughs> These small jobs can add up to a nice side income. Number 30, pick up dog poop for others. People hate picking up dog poop, myself included. It's as simple as that. As such, there are services popping up all over the country that will do this for you, and you can sign up a dog poop service in your neighborhood. Don't believe this is a thing? I have hired somebody to do this. It is a thing. Number 31. Become a note taker. Unlike school notes, people need notes taken for everything. For example, senior citizens and disabled persons consistently need help taking notes, and many local health and human services departments pair up with note takers to people in need. Pretty cool. If you have some time and are willing to travel around town, you could earn a little side income taking notes for the needy and make some really cool friends too. Number 32, become a medical test volunteer. Another way to make some extra money is to become a medical test volunteer. Once again, many different studies are taking place that need healthy volunteers to try out different things. Some people may require you to be monitored while you sleep. Others might test, test out some different drugs on you. Regardless, it's a good way to earn a lot of extra money. Number 33, become a Postmate. Postmates is an on-demand delivery service where you can get paid to deliver items, usually food, to some place in town. They advertise that you can potentially earn up to $25 an hour doing these on-demand delivery tasks. Number 34, become an agent anything. Agent anything is very similar to TaskRabbit, except that it's geared towards students doing the tasks. On the platform, people will post jobs and how much they're willing to spend. As an agent, you can apply to the job and then if you're awarded it, you will get paid when it's complete. Number 35, enter scholarship competitions. Scholarships are a great way to get extra income while you're in college. And what most people don't realize is that most scholarship competitions get very few entries simply because people assume they won't win. <laughs> we have a guide to finding and entering scholarship competitions. Also, make sure you enter our very own Side Hustlin' Student Scholarship, since you're probably a side hustler given you're listening to this podcast right now. Number 36, recycle cans and bottles. Here's another simple way to earn some extra cash is simply recycling. Most places around the country allow you to get paid for turning in bottles and cans. It's not much, but full bags of cans could get you five bucks a bag or more. Plus, it helps clean up the area too, which is good. Number 37, recycle scrap metal. Beyond just bottles and cans, you can also recycle scrap metal. There's a lot more money to be made with scrap metal recycling, but it's 
Also harder to find the stuff to recycle. If you find scrap copper or metal, you can get paid a significant amount for it. Number 38. Answer trivia questions. Man, wouldn't it be great if you could get paid for answering trivia questions? Unleashing all of that, what you thought was useless knowledge... Believe it or not, you can be paid to do that. It's a service called Swag Bucks. We've talked about it a couple of times today. You can play trivia games and win prizes for doing it. Boom. Number 39, share your phone info. Huh. Along the same lines as trivia, you can get paid for do- using your phone and then allowing companies to know what you're doing on it. Nielsen Mobile is one of these. It's an app that you can earn rewards on just for having it installed. It's going to take snapshots of what you're doing and then use those for advertisers to know more about your demographic. It takes away some privacy, but you do get paid for it. Number 40, become a professional cuddler. Really? Oh yeah. Some people just need some hugs. If you're a loving person that doesn't mind hugging and cuddling with strangers, you could get paid for it. (laughs) Now, don't get the wrong idea. This is just for cuddling. Number 41. Become a professional friend. If cuddling isn't quite your thing, what about just being someone's friend? Maybe going to the mall, to the movies? If this sounds like more your thing, check check out Rent a Friend. Just like it sounds. You can be paid to be someone's friend for the day. It might be a little bit awkward, but it could also be fun and lucrative. Number 42. Officiate weddings. If you're an interesting person or you do a cool job, people are always looking for interesting people to officiate their weddings and you could get paid for it. For example, if you're a skydiver who officiates weddings, you could get paid to host a skydiving wedding ceremony. Wow! Since most pastors don't do these extreme sports, it's a great side income for those that do. Number 43. Get rebates for grocery shopping. Ibotta is an app that gives you cash rebates for doing your shopping. You just share with it your shopping and it will give you a rebate for it. Pretty interesting app that's an easy way to earn some extra cashage. Number 44. Get rebates for online shopping. Who actually goes to the grocery store or regular store anymore anyway? (laughs) It seems everyone simply shops online now. So before you make any more purchases online, though, make sure you sign up for Ebates. This service is going to allow you to get rebates on thousands of online shopping places, including Amazon, Target, and a whole lot more. I've made $2,400 since signing up for Ebates. I'm not even kidding. Number 45. Find programming bugs. If you are a programmer and you have some free time during the summer, you could spend that time looking for programming buds, bugs in a new and existing software. Look for postings on job boards or your college campus. Number 46, find website hacks. So this is along the lines of finding programming bugs. Companies are paying and rewarding people for finding hacks and flaws in websites. For example, United Airlines recently announced that it will give frequent flyer miles to people who find hacks, and Google publicly displays the cash rewards they give for people who find exploits and report them. Pretty cool. Number 47. Help name a business. One of the hardest things for business owners to do is to name their company. I know this firsthand. Chances are, Most business owners aren't creative, but there are services to help with that, and you can actually get paid for it. Naming Force and Squad Help are two services that hold business naming contests, where the winner can get paid in cash. Number 48. Drive for Lyft or Uber. If you have a car, some spare time, becoming a driver partner for Lyft or Uber can be a really good way to earn some extra cash. The Rideshare Guy has some great resources to help you get started and figuring out the best ways to make the most money for driving, including any guarantees these companies may be offering right now. Again, his name is The Rideshare Guy. Google it! Number 49. Deliver food or groceries. If you don't want to drive people around, yuck. Uh, (laughs) Or maybe you don't have a car, but live in a bike-friendly city and want to put your bike to use? Hmm. You could deliver food for Instacart or Uber Eats and simply deliver food all day long. Number 50, answer pressing questions. 
If you're an expert on a subject matter, did you know you could get paid just for answering questions? The service JustAnswered.com allows users to connect with professionals and pay a small fee to get their question answered. This can be a great way to help others and get paid at the same time. Let's move on to the next topic and group of different jobs and various ways to make money. Sell your stuff. So making money by selling your stuff is one of the easiest ways to make money in college. A lot of students don't think they have things to sell, but they're wrong. Everybody can sell stuff on this list. Check it out. Number 51, sell your class notes. Aha. Uh -huh. The first thing that you can sell in college are the notes you take in class. There are many ways to do this. Almost every major campus typically has a note-taking, note-selling service on campus. For example, the University of California, San Diego, has AS Lecture Notes, which pays note-takers and charges note-buyers. However, there are also online services such as StudySoup, which allows students to sell their notes online. There are students who are making over five to $10,000 selling their notes. Number 52, sell your old college papers. Beyond selling notes, most college students write papers, right? Lots of them, in fact. Don't let these assignments go to waste. There are services that will buy your old college papers. For example, you could look at Grade Saver. This service allows you to sell your old essays and get anywhere from $15 to $100 for them. <laughs> if you're writing multiple papers per semester, this could be a great little side income for you. Number 53, sell your stuff on Craigslist. If you have anything you don't use anymore, or if it's too large or to sell online, Craigslist should be your go-to place to sell stuff. In college, you may want to sell all your furniture before moving home from school at the end of the year. Depending on what you own, a few hundred bucks might be better than storing it or transporting it back with you. It's easy to set up a listing and sell anything on Craigslist. A newer alternative is Facebook offers as well. Keep that in mind. Number 54, sell crafts on Etsy. If you're a little crafty, you should consider selling your stuff on Etsy. Etsy is designed for handmade goods, including stationery and greeting cards, household crafts, and a whole lot more. And the great thing about creating these types of products is that you can do it in your spare time on nights and weekends too. And creating many of these products doesn't take up much space either. So it can be a dorm room friendly thing. Don't think there's much money in selling on Etsy? Well, there's a teenager that paid for her college by selling crafts online. All of her college. Number 55, sell your stuff on eBay. Another great place, of course, is eBay. I was personally making two to $3,000 a year selling stuff on eBay in college. If you have stuff you no longer use, old video games, DVDs, computers, all that stuff, and you can ship it in a box, then sell it on eBay. It's a lucrative way to make extra money while in college. Number 56, sell roadside gifts for holidays. You ever seen those roadside stands around Valentine's Day and Mother's Day? You know, the one selling flowers and treats and stuff? That actually could be you. As a college student, just head down to Costco and buy some flowers and candy. Then get permission to set up a stand near a busy intersection or on the side of a road. You'll triple or double your initial investment every single holiday. Number 57. Sell your blood. Plasma. This is one of the more unique ideas on this list, but you can make money by selling your plasma. Sounds weird, <laughs> but a lot of medical therapies rely on blood plasma which is slightly different than simply donating blood. To find out if you're eligible for this and for locations where you can donate, you can check out the website donatingplasma.org. Number 58, sell your sperm or eggs. So along the same lines as donating plasma, young and healthy adults could donate their sperm or eggs for money. Donating sperm doesn't command much, but it can be a small supplement to your income. On the other hand, donating your eggs could earn you anywhere from ten dollars to $15,000. However, there's work involved in the process, and it's not painless. Number 59. Sell your hair. Continuing on the trend with selling stuff from your body, did you know that you can sell your hair too? 
People actually will pay money for your hair, long hair, short hair, even men's beards. Buyandsellhair.com is the largest online hair marketplace where you can post a listing of your hair and other people around the world will contact you regarding your listing. Number 60. Sell your old video game accounts. For all the gamers out there, this money-making gig is for you. Let's face it. As you go through college, you find yourself spending less and less time playing your favorite video games. Why let your awesome characters and game assets go to waste? Why not sell them online to other players? That's exactly what PlayerAuctions.com allows you to do. You can buy and sell old video game accounts, characters, and even in-game assets. Depending on what you sell, this could earn you several hundred bucks. Number 61. Sell your junk mail. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's this company that is willing to buy your junk mail. The company, Small Business Knowledge Center, is looking for people just like you to send in their junk mail on a regular basis. Specifically, they're looking for offers relating to personal finance, insurance, investing, and more. When you do this, they will reward you with points that you can redeem for gift cards to over 200 different retailers. Interesting. Number 62. Sell homegrown produce. If you have a yard or some space to grow food, you could grow items to sell to your neighbors and friends. If you have enough space to grow a lot of food, you could even join a community-supported agriculture where local farmers and residents pool together to buy and sell fresh produce. This may not make you a millionaire, but if you have enough to sell consistently, it could be a great income stream. Number 63. Sell your idea or invention. You got a great idea for a product but don't know the best way to go about creating it? You could submit your idea to Quirky. They'll screen your idea, and if they like it, they'll either develop it themselves or in partnership with a major brand. In the end, you'll get a cut of all the sales from the final product. For some inventors, this has only earned them thousands of dollars, but others have earned 100,000s through the platform. 64. Sell your artwork. If you're an artist and consistently create paintings, drawings, computer animations, etc., you could sell your artwork online on a site like DeviantArt. DeviantArt allows users to upload images, and they can elect to sell those images as prints or even special projects like mouse pads and more. Whenever an item sells, the artist will receive 20% of the purchase price. Higher membership levels earn higher royalties. Number 65. Sell stock photos. Maybe you prefer to take pictures versus creating a painting. That's fine, and there are ways to sell your stock photos as well. The Penny Hoarder has a great guide to selling stock photography, and it breaks down step-by-step -step how to sell on iStock Photo or Shutterstock. When you start out, you will earn roughly 15% of the selling price, but it can go up to 50% over time. Number 66. Sell your old textbooks. Finally, you can always sell your old textbooks when you're done with your class. While this won't typically earn you money, although some clever college entrepreneurs have figured out a way to profit selling used textbooks, it's a great way to at least get some money back for the books you bought each semester. Now we're taking a look at a dip for different topic with various jobs in it. Work. <laughs> of course, you can always earn money just by working. These are jobs that college students and young adults are well-suited for, given school schedules, summer vacations, and more. Number 67, babysitting. If you are responsible, babysitting is a great way to earn some extra scratch. The typical babysitter gets about 20 bucks an hour. If you have friends and neighbors with kids, start asking them if they need a night out. If you want to be more reputable, you can sign up for a site like care.com. Number 68, become a pet sitter. Along the same lines as babysitting, when people go out of town, they need someone to watch their pets. If you love animals, pet sitting can be a great way to earn some extra money and hang out with some furry friends. They're adorable. Try signing up for something called Rover to get connected with people who want need a pet sitter. I've done it a few times. It works. Number 69, house sitting. If you know someone is taking a vacation, offer to house sit for them. Nobody wants bad things to happen to their homes, from pipe leaks to burglaries. 
House sitting avoids this and also can be combined with pet sitting. It can be a lucrative gig if you have time on your hands. You can sign up on care.com and see if you can get leads that way as well. People will value responsible students to house sit. Number 70, clean houses. Another great gig for college students is house cleaning. It takes several hours, but it can be done easily in college and requires no real experience. You can team up with an experienced cleaning company or even run your own business. You can also look at something new like Amazon services and list your service there. Number 71, do catering on the weekends. Catering companies are always looking for extra help because their schedules are so weird. Most catering companies have little work during the week, but need a huge staff on the weekends. This works well for college students who are just looking to earn a few extra dollars. If you don't know where to find these gigs, check out Craigslist for jobs or gigs in your area. Number 72, computer repair. If you are handy with a computer, helping people get their computers repaired is a great way to make extra money. Typically, this will involve setting up some software, checking for viruses, and more. See if a computer repair firm is hiring on Zip Recruiter. Number 73, handyman work. If you're great with tools and know how to fix things, you can make some extra money doing handyman work for others. And I got a few things around here you could fix up a little bit. But anyway, you can offer to help your landlord in college or connect with some friends or neighbors that might need some help too. Number 74, paint houses. Here's, this is one of the most well-known college gigs. It's just to become a house painter. Companies like College Pro House Painters have been connecting college students to the house painting business and while also giving them an exposure to entrepreneurship. This can be a great way to earn some extra money during the summer. 75, hauling. If you got a truck, an old beat up pickup truck, you can offer to haul things for people usually to the dump or landfill. There are services that do this for people too, but if you post on Craigslist and charge a reasonable price, you're likely to find success. Number 76, work and retail. Retail is a great place for college students to work because the hours are usually very flexible and opposite when college students go to school. Many retailers need staff on nights and weekends, and that works well for most college students. Plus, retail earns a steady paycheck. This may not sound great, but employers want college students who worked during school. Find a job at ZipRecruiter. Number 77, work as a bartender or server. If you prefer the more fast-paced and interesting work, like a restaurant, consider becoming a bartender or a server. You'll usually work nights, but you got the potential to earn some amazing tips if you do a good job. ZipRecruiter has the job for you there. Number 78, Work for your professor. A lot of professors hire one to two students each semester to help them grade papers, prepare the lessons, and even do some research for them. If you're interested in a particular field of study, partner with your professor and see if he has a job for you. Number 79, work at a temp agency. Okay, yeah, so temp agencies are great places for college students to get started, especially because the variety of work they can get can be very helpful for students. Apply for the temp agency, and then they'll just connect you with a business that needs some short-term work. Zip Recruiter again, great place to go for that. Number 80, become a tutor. Here's a great way to earn some money. If you're a pro at any class in college, simply offer to help others that aren't. Post a sign outside the lecture hall, maybe a Facebook group for the class. As many classes are going digital, please do that. <laughs> you can easily find clients and charge a decent rate to boost your income. If you're good at English and feel comfortable teaching it, check out VIP Kid and teach English online for a good hourly rate. There's another, there's another one called Q Kid where you can teach English online in small groups. You just have to be currently enrolled in college is all. Care.com also maintains a list of tutoring services, so you might consider finding clients there too. Number 81, modeling. Modeling is another potential way to earn some extra money in college. There are many ways to get into modeling, but typically you sign up with an agency and they will pay you several hundred dollars per day for a shoot. A new way to break into the business is to use sites like Instagram to showcase your work and allow others to see your portfolio. Number 82, 
TV or movie extra, oh yeah. Every day around the country, TV shows and movie shoots are looking for extras to fill in the background on their sets. It pays maybe 200 bucks or more per day, but it can be a fun way to earn some extra money on the side. And number 83, mystery shopping. Have you ever wanted to rate a company that you use and provide feedback? You can sign up to be a mystery shopper and get paid for doing it. TrendSource is one of the largest market research companies in the United States, and they're always looking for people to become field agents, a.k.a. mystery shoppers. Number 84, moving service. If you got some muscles, you can join a moving service and help people move their houses. For example, you could join starving students and help people move in your area. <laughs> Number 85, gardening. Green thumb, perhaps? You could help your friends and neighbors with their gardening. Even if you don't want to do this every week, there are lots of odd job gigs to simply help people clear fields, cut down trees, or do one-off projects. Number 86, pool service. If you know a thing or two about pools, you could offer to help people with their pools. Clean them. Take care of the chemicals as needed. This can be a commitment, but during the busy summer months, you can help a real pro out. Number 87, shovel snow during the winter. Of course, if you live in an area that snows, you can offer to shovel snow for your friends and neighbors. It's hard work, but you could charge a nice little fee for each house. Number 88, ask for a raise. Already have a job? Maybe you need to ask for a raise. It's really the simplest way to boost your income, and not too many people negotiate for their salaries. And realize that failing to negotiate your salary can cost you a ton and ton of money. Many jobs will pay students a signing bonus just for signing their job offer. Using PathRise, a service that provides you one-to-one -one coaching and tools to get the best job and negotiate the most competitive compensation package, will help you find a position with a signing bonus and get you paid without lifting a finger. <laughs> I love that. Number 89. Start your own tanning business. Spray tanning is huge business. And if you own a spray tanning kit, you could do this on your own terms. Maybe you could prep your sorority house before a party or sell the service to others in your dorm. Number 90, do nails and makeup. So similar to running a tanning business, if you're good at doing nails, you could take care of nails and makeup for your friends for special occasions. You could even advertise and do small jobs here and then. Number 91, we're almost there, by golly. Time flies when you're having fun. Start a laundry service. Busy professionals outsource their laundry more often than you would think. If you live in a dorm, apartment building, you could offer to start a laundry service for all your friends and neighbors. Instead of them having to make their own trip to the laundromat, you could combine their trip with yours and charge them a small fee for it. Considering you do laundry every week, this could be a great recurring revenue stream. Hello. Number 92, become a street performer. Okay, street performers hustle. Takes a special talent to break out a show on a street corner, bus, or subway, but the performers who do it well can earn several hundred bucks a day. If you do this several days a week, mm-hmm, that's going to be pretty lucrative. Number 93, do telemarketing. Cold calling still exists. And businesses are looking for people like you willing to man the phones and make the calls. Many companies hire this in-house, but there are also firms that hire telemarketing professionals to man phones as well, especially around election time. If you don't mind being on the phone for several hours and getting hung up on often, and maybe even cursed at a couple of times, this is a good job for college students. Find a job on ZipRecruiter. Number 94. Become a product demonstrator. You ever seen those product demonstrators inside stores? These people are hired by marketing companies and do these jobs on the weekend. Typically, the supplies are mailed to your house and you're told where and when to show up. You can find these jobs on almost every job board. ZipRecruiter, again, we've mentioned that a lot. They got a ton of stuff on there. Just go there. <laughs> Number 95, become a campaign petitioner. Did you know that those people asking for your signature outside the grocery store are typically paid to get you to sign up? Contrary to popular belief, they aren't pushing politics because they care. 
They're pushing for your signature because they typically get $1 to $2 per signature. If you could get 30 people to sign up per hour, you're making 30 to 60 bucks an hour. That's not bad. Number 96. Do car washing or detailing. Nothing more refreshing than getting into a nicely detailed car. It's a great feeling. And people are paying big bucks to have their cars washed and waxed. If you have a passion for cars and detailing comes kind of naturally to you, consider charging others to do it for them. Number 97. Get an internship. Almost all internships are paid these days, no kidding, and they can be a great way to gain real-world skills while also boosting your income. While many internships start over the summer, some companies offer extended internship programs where you can stay on as an intern during the school year. To maximize your chance of landing a high-paying internship, check out PathRise that will give you all the tools you need to land a competitive position. Make sure you check out our Ultimate College Internship Guide as well. Number 98. Become a personal trainer. If you got a passion for fitness, you could consider becoming a personal trainer. A lot of people simply need accountability and a little instruction to get going to get fit. And a personal trainer can help with this. And that's just the beginning. If you get a following, you could turn your passion for fitness into something huge, like Steve Cam did with nerd fitness. Number 99. Become a DJ. Bang! This is cool. If music is your thing and you have playlists for every occasion, then consider becoming a DJ. You can DJ on weekends and work for parties and events. It does require a little bit of investment to get a mixer, a PA, all that kind of stuff. But after you do that, you can turn a profit and a pretty good one too. We have made it to number 100, and that is plan events. If you enjoy managing people, tasks, and coordinating things to get something done, telling people what to do, if so, then party planning could be right up your alley. You can get paid to plan an event. It can be hard for a college student to do this, but I've seen several pull it off. Think of Van Wilder in planning college parties. Mm -hmm. Now, on to the bonus round. Number 101. Become an interior designer. If you have a knack for interior design, becoming a de decorator can be a great way to make some extra cash in college. You can help people update their rooms and get paid a fee for it. Number 102. Help senior citizens. Senior citizens can use help with a variety of tasks that are many are willing to pay for. This can range from getting the groceries to transporting them to the doctor. If you're willing to build an amazing connection and have some spare time, consider helping out senior citizens. And if you do, just be warned, you will learn a lot and also hear a lot of amazing stories. Number 103, drive a bike taxi. This is a lot of exercise, but it can provide a little income and some great tips. You might have seen these bike taxis or pedicabs in touristy areas of big cities. To drive one, just contact the local company and be willing to put in a workout on weekends. <laughs> Number 104. Become a human billboard. Visual marketing is huge and companies are willing to pay you to wear a sign and walk around. It's as simple as that. Sometimes you'll be asked to stand on a certain corner. Other times you could have to walk through various streets and areas. The goal is to raise awareness through your silly getup and you'll get paid for it. Here's another bonus section, build passive income. Now that you know 104 different ways to make money in college, let's take it to the next level by investing some of those profits into building a passive income. 105, start investing. So once you have a little bit of money, you need to start investing it. The goal, of course, is to turn your investments into a passive income stream that will pay you for the rest of your life doesn't take much to get started either. You can get started investing with as little as $1 with these free investing apps that we have. Then add another $100 each month and you'll grow your nest egg into something powerful. You can also take your earnings from side hustling and open an IRA at Fidelity. We have tons of resources for this at thecollegeinvestor.com. 106. Peer-to-peer -peer lending. So similar to investing, peer-to-peer -peer lending is where you loan money to someone else and they pay you back with interest. The great thing about peer-to-peer -peer lending 
is that you can lend as little as $25 and your loan will get bundled into a bigger loan for the borrower. Each month, they'll pay you back principal and interest. And you can snowball this initial investment into many investments because you get your principal back as well each month. Many lenders earn over 5 to 7% on their investments. The Lending Club is the most popular choice for this. 107. Reinvest in your business. Finally, if you want to continue to make money beyond college and set up multiple income streams for the future, you should always reinvest some of the profits into your business to make yourself more profitable. This is how you build residual income. How much more money could you make each month if you advertised your business? What if you hired an assistant to handle some tasks so you could focus on other things? Reinvesting in your business is a smart move to make more money in college and beyond. 108. Last one. Here we go. Get started in real estate. You might not think that you can do this. <laughs> Get started in real estate in college simply costs way too much money. But new regulations and the internet have changed that with the invention of crowdfunding real estate platforms. As little as $500, you can get started investing in residential and commercial real estate. There are platforms like Realty Mogul and Fundrise you can check out to see different ways that you can get started investing in real estate. It is super easy to get started online. P.S. If you're looking for more ways to make money fast, we just went through 108 Wow, we have even more. We have an article at thecollegeinvestor.com where you can find it. Now, just type this into the search bar, 100 Real and Honest Ways to Make Money in College. You're going to find this article with all of the things we talked about and links to everything in case something struck you that you're like, I got to check that out. Again, thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks again for stopping by today. We'll talk to you very soon. Can't wait to hear about all the cool stuff you're doing.